Today, I'm going to show you how to do a clean Windows 7 install. Why do you want to do a clean Windows install? One of the reasons people just doesn't like the software they call BlowWire. You know, a lot of uh, unnecessary software that came with their original manufacturer installed. You know, those software will slow down the operating system's performance. So you need to do the, a clean install. But before you do a clean install, you really need to get license number out. And I'm going to show you how to get the license number out from a software called a Magic Jelly Bean. So another way is just your document, you know, you purchase order the document or on the back of uh, the computer the sticker. My sticker is not as legible because after two years, it's really not um, as um, easy to see. So the letter Q, I'm not sure whether it's a Q, zero or O. There's a T or J, I'm not sure. Uh, so I have to try, there are three letter position. I have to try a three multiply two, multiply three is 18 combinations. So either you do that or you can use a, a software to extract that license, not just a Windows license, all the software you have. Because if you do the clean install, it's going to wipe your complete hard disk, you won't have anything left. So if you are able to do a backup, complete image backup, or copy your hard disk to another backup disk before you do this. Or if you, you're sure you get all the license number out, then you can start. So the first step to start this, I'm going to show you the legal way. There's a, many people say, you can do copy the Windows 7 from here here, but my concern is those source may not be clean. You know, you download something, maybe that you do have a Windows 7, but it came with a virus. So be sure to download from a reputable source. So I'm going to download from a Digital River, which is an authorized Microsoft dealer. So once you download that, uh, I'm, you know, see the link. I will provide a link to their site so you can download. You are not really purchasing anything. You just download. You can use your own license number. You type in your own license number. So once you download, the second step, you have to burn into the media you are going to boot from. What does that mean? There are choices. You have to start your computer and after you start the computer you press F12 so once what F12 is here you can see I have a three options I can either boot from a hard disk or DVD or network but actually my computer if I plug in a USB drive, you will see the USB drive will be shown. So I'm going to turn this off and restart again. I will show you. So I press it again. Start F12. See now you see there are first is your hard disk. You are going to wipe it out so you don't choose this so my choice is either the dvd media or usb so once you download that uh, image of a windows 7 you either burn into the dvd or usb and how do you burn it you can go to microsoft website there's a tool that for the windows 7 download that tool will burn either into DVD or USB. Okay, so I will show you, I, I choose to burn into USB. I will show you how, um, how you, you will boot. Okay, so this is the instruction we have on our website, uh, iadvisor.com. The first step, you go to the link called the magic 
Jelly Bean Finder Key Finder and you download the, the software and uh, find your license number and here is the link you just click the link uh, make sure you find the correct version because different version would match different license number so you go and download this uh, once you download this then the third step from Microsoft website download the Windows 7 download tool use this tool to write the previous download ISO file into either a bootable DVD or USB flash drive and once you have this either flash drive or DVD the next step is you can just boot from your computer and make sure you need to choose the media in my computer is uh, F12 but in yours check your menu maybe something else now we come to this window I choose English time and format and um, keyboard and then I choose the next so there are many options it says uh, repair or install so if you want a fresh install do this install if you want to repair do this this repair is not as clean when you install it if I push repair now because I have a hard disk problem this was stuck there forever I'm not going to choose repair I'm going to choose the install so the setup was is starting it will take some time 